For the past several years, a canine in a North Bay town's police force has helped protect the community. That is, until he was recently diagnosed with cancer. KPIX5's John Ramos tells us now the community is stepping up to help pay for the dog's treatments. The small town of Sebastopol has an equally small police department with only 12 sworn officers. Oh, and then there's Frank. Frank is the only canine on the force, and his handler, Nick Bellevue, says besides being a good buddy, he's also a valuable asset to the department. He can do suspect apprehension and handler protection, uh, so he'll, he's trained to, to protect me. So it was a shock when about two weeks ago, Nick found a large growth on Frank's neck, and the vet diagnosed it as lymphoma. The next shock came when Nick found out how much it would cost to fight the cancer. Uh, for the treatment, they said it was probably going to be around $10,000 which put the department in a difficult spot. As much as they love the dog, Frank is considered a law enforcement tool. We have to be very judicious about how we're spending the taxpayers' money and whether or not the community is going to get back for that money that they spent right. some value. So Nick reached out to the people, asking for donations on a GoFundMe website. And you can probably guess what happened. More than $14,000 has been raised in just six days from people as far away as the Ukraine. Diane Blake drove all the way from Richmond today to write a check for the simplest of reasons. I mean, if, if they can live, you know, longer, why not? No one knows how long Frank's got, but he's responded well to the first two chemo treatments. And if he's feeling up to it, he gets to go back to work tomorrow. And just seeing how excited he is about that makes it worth every penny. In Sebastopol, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Very special dog. Well, Nick says any money raised over the cost of the 19-week treatment will be used to pay for Frank's future medical expenses. Yeah, we're pulling for you. Come